Who's been the most ridiculous person of the week? In at number three this week, it's Philip Hammond who uttered the phrase, there are no unemployed people, which was a slightly inaccurate statement to the tune of 1.4 million people. Uh, that is a Diane Abbott level of miscalculation, but it's significantly worse to make that mistake when you're the Chancellor of the Exchequer. Now, Mr Hammond would say that his words were taken out of context, and he's right. But those are words that the Chancellor of the Exchequer should never use. He was rather more careful with his words during his budget statement, where he cracked out some excellent jokes, like uh, one where he got Theresa May to hand him some cough sweets, uh, one where he made a joke about Top Gear and Hammond and May, and one where he revealed that the British economy is growing slower than it ever has done in modern times. In at number two this week, it's the Labour Party. Surprising, I know, but just think about it. This autumn, the government has been rocked by scandal, beleaguered by Brexit. At one stage, it was losing cabinet ministers at the rate of one a week, and it can barely get anything through Parliament because it lost its majority. So really, Labour should be well ahead. And yet there was a poll this week which had Labour trailing by four points. Now, the good news for Labour is that, yes, it is only one poll. And also, history tells us that whenever Theresa May has an improbable poll lead, she calls a disastrous snap general election. However, there are no polls out there that are giving Labour a significant lead. And if you think about it, they haven't really said or done anything in months, you know, other than talk about how they won the election. And in at number one this week, it's Donald bloody Trump. So what the hell has he done this time? Well, have you heard of Republican senatorial candidate Roy Moore? Now, I have to be careful what I say here because Mr. Moore is subject to accusations of sexual harassment and assault on girls as young as 14. Now, there is a word for what he is, but I can't say it for legal reasons. I know that we can all see it, but apparently these days you just can't say what you see. Now, in any normal walk of life, Roy Moore would be suspended and we would all agree that we're well shot of the bastard, but no, Donald Trump says, we don't need a liberal person in there, a Democrat, and Roy Moore denies it. That's all I can say, he denies it. And by the way, he gives a total denial. So let me get this straight. You can't have a Democrat because they will threaten American values. So Trump says the only choice is to send for the guy who was banned from a shopping mall for coming on to teenagers. Oh, truly, it is the greatest democracy on earth. Nevertheless, you cannot deny that Trump has been anything else but consistent here. I mean, he has consistently said that we shouldn't trust accusers.